Now, it was the Russian, uh, Vladimir Ovinsky, the geologist um, back in the early 1980s, who wrote a provocative piece in the Moscow News that I spent a lot of time chasing down through the Soviet consulate in San Francisco because it was so eerily similar to our own investigation, which was, you know, in process at that time. And I discovered to my satisfaction, and I acknowledged him in monuments, that in fact this wasn't an example of Chekhov. Remember Chekhov on Star Trek? Of course. Where he claimed everything was invented by, you know, Russians? Yes. Well, this, it turned out, was correct. Vinsky had independently from us and from the Pietro Molinar and others had been looking at this provocative set of imagery from the Viking missions. In fact, it, it looks like he actually got copies of the Viking data itself somehow in, into, into Moscow. And he published, in the same time frame, an independent assessment, which was provocative to me for a couple of reasons. Not only because it was independent, but because his conclusions were eerily similar to what ours would eventually be. And that was that, A, he called the face, for the first time on record, the Martian Sphinx. How eerily prescient yeah. Vladimir turned out to be. Yes. And I want to acknowledge him over and over again because that's what science is supposed to be, acknowledging good seminal work.